Hello everyone, it's Marie from Fifty Soap, and I decided to make a beer soap. It's not my first one. I made one about oh last summer, and it was not a very good outcome. In fact, I ended up pitching it in the bin because it volcanoed and came out of the mold, and it was rather repulsive. So, I decided to try it again. I'm not crazy about beer myself, uh, but I figure other people might like it. So, I've got my oils here, my regular blend of oils, and I'm going to, I've already put my essential oil in here, and I'm using ginger. I figured ginger and beer would go nicely together. And I've got my lye water here. So, well, it's not lye water, it's lye beer. <laughs> so what I did is I took my beer out yesterday, I opened the bottle, I poured it into a bowl and I let it sit for about almost 24 hours just to get the alcohol evaporated out of it. Some people boil it, <coughs> excuse me, some people boil it on the stove um, and you can do that but if you let it sit out it's usually fine. And then I added the lye to it very 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 slowly, I put it in an ice bath so that it didn't overheat and added my lye very slowly. So my temperature is just so we know where am I? I am at 100 for the oil, and I'm at 93 for the beer. Uh, some people might say it's a little bit too warm still. They prefer to soap cooler. Other people soap, soap higher. Me, I usually soap around this temperature. So, so we are going to add the beer to the oil. And for the record, I'm using a nice, uh, I think it's Nova Scotian beer, uh, Alexander Keats, I think. See, I don't drink beer. Um, my brother-in-law likes it. Uh, every once in a while, I, I, when he comes over, I'll buy maybe like a pack of six beers, and he'll have one or two, and then I have this beer left over. So I decided to uh, use, use it up. But in fact, I only had <laughs> one bottle left. Um, <coughs> so... I did, uh, this is going to be a small batch, and I did a very teeny, teeny water discount just because that's all the beer I had. Um, I'm still soaping at about a 28.5% solution of lye, which is still not very strong. Full water is usually about 27%, uh, so. Okay. And actually, I'm starting to feel it a little bit, um, thickening up here, so we probably won't need to mix it a lot. But I will give it a few whizzes in the, with the stick blender. Now, I must say, I don't drink beer because I don't particularly like it. I'm more of a gin and tonic kind of girl. <coughs> or a nice glass of wine. And I'm not crazy about ginger either. So, I'll put them both in here. I, I won't like the soap anyways, but I, I'm pretty sure some other people will like it. We'll see. I have a friend. She loves beer, so I'll give her some of this soap. <coughs> a little bit of a design. I'm going to kind of attempt to make the, uh, the froth on top. So I'm going to take a little bit of that mixture out, put some titanium dioxide in it. Uh, ah, I'm so disorganized. I didn't even think to get my pots ready. Oh, we'll take... But uh, four cups. Mm, let me make it a little bit more. There. Oops. Oh. Okay. 
put this over here and I'm going to get my titanium dioxide which I, I used a water dissolved well, <laughs> I spilled it everywhere now. I use a water soluble titanium dioxide and, and normally I put it in glycerin but I figured why not put it in water so seeing as I had a little bit of a water discount this will make up for it I'm going to use my little frother like that and I should have had that out. Look at that. This is like a little in the swirl pot. Pot in the swirl. In the in the pot swirl. In the swirl pot. Duh. Oh, grief. <laughs> okay. All right. Stop it. Stop making a mess. <laughs> this is a lot uh, less thick than my normal little mixture. <laughs> Maybe it's the beer in it that I don't know. Wait, let's drop there. Of course, what else is new, right? Of course you know. I, I'm the queen of the drips. I've certainly dated a few. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Oh dear. All right, titanium dioxide into pot. Whoa! Look at that. Oh, we don't have the Dixie cup uh, that we the Dixie cups that we used to have. Self-destructing. doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> this doesn't sound very good. doesn't smell that bad. Well, like I said, I don't like ginger. I don't... Well, it's not that I don't like it. I'm not crazy about it. And beer, not so much. Although I must say, when I went to Egypt, I drank beer there because it was... Um, the 
thing to do. Ah, I need a another spatula here. They have they make their own beer and of course they've made beers for thousands of years. Right -o. Okay, so it's kind of nicely uh setting up there. So I'm gonna pour this on the top. more than my mold holds. Not a problem. Okay. in all the corners. Oh, that's really filling it up, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Bang it down a little bit. Okay, I decided I'm not going to do swirlies. I'm going to spoon it. Whatever it is that you call with the spoon. I've always been itching to do this and I never have the patience to wait until my soap is thick enough. But with this, it could even be whoa, <laughs> more a bit more set. Now it's kind of standing up. And then mind you, it's probably me ruining it when I go do the middle part. All right. That's a little bit better. The spoon was get away from me. There, I think. I think it's looking pretty good. So there we go. My beer soap. We'll cut it tomorrow and see what it looks like inside. Bye for now.